Vayelech. What? And he went, Vayikach. And he took who? Gomer. So what is Gomer? What is the root for Gomer? Gamar. And what does Gamar mean? Finished. So who's finished? Hosea. <laughs> he's finished because he's about to marry this woman of ill repute. But Gomer appears in some other places as a name of uh, some people. Who is that? Rashid Yud. What's in what uh, is in this chapter? The genealogy, table of nations. Okay, and so uh, I wrote this down. It's in the first pasuk. Pasuk Harishon. Okay, so uh, pasuk Shtayim. Who are they? The sons of Yefet. And where did the sons of Yefet go? As far as we know, where are they living? Europe. Okay. Gomer, I guess some people think is uh, in part of Turkey, also Magog. This is the Magog of Gog and Magog, which people think is in Turkey. Madai, I forget. Yavan, people think is Greece. Tuval, Meshech, and Tiras, all people's names. So this is a, uh, a time-honored name from a long time ago. There's some other uh, Gomer, we want to look at in Tehillim. Ms. Moore, you'd bet. They face each other. How can you remember Zion from Gimel? This is how you remember your Zion and your Gimel. The word for couple is Zuk. If you have a Hebrew numbering of your verses, it is verse 2. Uh, because, Kacha. It's the power of the Kacha. You know about the power of the kacha? That's a Nehemiah Gordon thing. Kacha. You know, when you say that to your mother, why? And your mother said, because. So we should know well what Hoshia is, because that's what we studied right at the first. What's Hoshia? To save. This is where it's translated Hosanna. Hoshiana. Hosanna. Save Yahweh. Key, because why? Gamar chasid. What is a chasid? A righteous person. The, um, when we talk about the um, black hats, right? Uh, in Israel, they're chasidim. So um, sometimes maybe it's translated as saints. Um, so, and they are gamor. What is what happened to them? There aren't any more. They've stopped being chasidim in the earth. Okay, that's bad when that happens, right? Ki pasu. Uh, the Pesamach is an interesting um, uh, two-letter idea. Uh, it also means to cease, to come to the end of. So when we read about um, the coat of many colors, right? Does it say there are many colors? No, it's a katonet pasim which has nothing to do with many colors. Uh, it means, uh, in modern Hebrew, it means stripes. So the idea is at the end of the sleeve and at the end of the hem, there would be special embroidery or special weaving that would signify that the person was a person of stature. Okay, so that's why it's called ketonet pasim, a coat of special embroidery at the at the edges, okay? Pasu, they have also ceased. Who also has ceased? The emunim. So what is the root of emunim? Emet, aman, what is it? Amen. True. The truthful people have ceased mibne adam from the sons of men, okay? So the two verses are in parallel. They have the same idea. There's no good or righteous people left and uh, David is uh, bewailing that fact. All right, Ms. Moore. Nun Zion. Uh, Ekra, I will call Elohim Elyon, we know, most high. Le'el, T 
to the god, whatever. Go mayor. What tense is go mayor? It's a participle tense. He's continually doing this. Uh huh. To me. Now, what, what? How can we think of that? Is God just finishing us, or how should we think of that? He's completing us. He's filling us with every good thing in the way that's completing us. Okay. So this is Gomer. So, um, so this is her name, and. Um, it gives us a sense that something's going to come to an end here. Maybe she's at the end of herself because her behavior is just reprehensible. Um, on the other hand, maybe after all this, we'll see that she's really finished doing what she's doing. And that, that's the goal, right? And, and we know that she represents um, Israel, the Ephraimites, and Northern Kingdom. Okay? So who is she? Bat Divlayim. Bat Divlayim. So Bat we know. So, uh, what is Divlayim? Let's start in a Bamidbar. Oh yeah, this is a this is where we can stop. That's good. Bamidbar, Lamid Gimel, Lamid Gimel. How much is Lamid Gimel? What is Bamidbar Lamid Gimel about? All the places they went. Forty-two. Pasuk Arbaim Vishesh Divlataima. Remember the hay from last week? What's the hay from last week? The directional hay, okay? So they're in this place, Almon Divlataim. They're going Yisu. What is Yisu? What's the uh, root there? Nasa means travel from this, Divon God. And Yechanu, what is Yechanu? What, what is Chen? Chana means to camp. Remember when uh, Jacob separated his group, right? Machanayim, he said, I made two camps. I'm two camps, okay? So Chana means to camp. So they're camping in this place. Now this is, you know, you can see from chapter 33, this is, this is towards the end. They wind up in this place, Almon Divlatayim. Um, it's in uh, the state of Issachar. And Almon, Almon is something that's hidden, okay? So this is a hidden to whatever they are. Let's find out what they are. Shmuel Aleph, okay, remember there's two Shmuels. So I'm going to write the Aleph part of the Shmuel first. And then the um, Perak, the chapter, is Pape. Uh, who is doing the action? Abigail. And, and uh, what happened here? She's catering, spoken like a restaurant person. Okay, She's taking a lot of stuff. And who's she taking it to? Because her husband is a Naval. His name is Naval. And that's what Naval means, fool. Okay? So what are all these things that she's... To my hair. What is my hair? Quickly. So she's hurrying up and she's taking. Ma'atayim lechem, 200 breads, and shnei nivle yayin, shnaim, two pools. <laughs> no, actually, a nivela, nivela is, um, is a corpse. Okay, but the corpse is not full of wine. What do they put, why do they put the wine in? Skins, skins, they're wine skins. Huh? Nivela also means corpse. And Chamesh Tzon, sheep, and they are Asuyot. So uh, what is the root of this? Asa. And what does Asa mean? To make. Okay. So we have this active participle. Usually if we form the active participle, we're going to put U, like Katu. Ketuva, right? This is the active participle. What happens when you have something that ends in he is you get the asui. That's where the ui shows up. They're already made. In other words, she prepared them before she took them, right? It's easier to carry a dead sheep than make the other ones go in the right direction. Okay, what else has she got? Chamesh Saim Kali. Five. You know what a seya. It's a seya, right? We just translated it into English. 
Um, Kali is a kind of a grain, as it were. No, it, the idea is that it's already cooked. It's roasted, okay? It's not boiled, it's not boiled, and it's not um, baked, okay? Meyatsa uh, Mukim, which is 100 Simukas raisins. Well, she didn't take 100 raisins. She took 100 cakes of raisins, right? And here's our Divalim, Divalim, Divela. She took two, and so these are cakes of figs. So this is, uh, oh, she's the daughter of two figs. But uh, we're going to, they're going to talk it. You'll see what it is. Figs or fig cakes, okay? So she's taking that. And, and one more thing. Oh, no, nothing else. What did she do with them? Tasim al hachamorim. What did she do with them? She put them on donkeys. Okay. Second Kings. Mlachim Bet, Pasuk Ka, Perak Ka, Pasuk Sheva. Mlachim Bet, Perak Ka, Pasuk Sheva. Vayichi. Okay, who's speaking? And who is he talking to? Hezekiah is not feeling good. Hezekiah is going to die. Remember what happened? Okay, so he says, take, here's your develop, and, and also, so te'ena is also a fig. So develop more has the idea of the cakes of the figs, right? Okay, um, but I don't think it's used for anything else. Okay, and uh, yikru, and they will take, they took, vayasimu, yes, and put, Al Hashrin. So Shrin uh, is a boil. It appears in the plagues, right? Right? Remember there's boils in the plagues? This is Shrin. As and you will live, okay? And he lived. He recovered. So so these are the figs. Here we are. So Gomer is a daughter of figs. And now if we look back to, um, to uh, the place in um, Numbers, right? It's a Dibla Tayim, right? It's a double, okay? So, um, and particularly there, they're the hidden figs, right? So, so how does that go together with the book of Hosea? Where are the figs? Under the fig tree. I think it's a euphemism for being in the kingdom possibly. Who is a fig tree? What happened to the fig tree? He said it shriveled up, right? It withered because he said, no, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, fertilize it one more year. <laughs> the fig tree is Israel, right? When you see the fruit come out, then the time is here. The fig tree is Israel. But who are these people? These are Frata people, the Brian people. They're missing. They're missing in action, right? This book is for them. She's a missing in action. The prime right there. She is. She's she's out there. She's, you know, uh, being a whore. She's in, in idolatry and idolatry and every kind of altery there is. She's, you know, she's not faithful at all. And this is Israel. And so she is perfectly well named. Okay, she's the daughter of those missing figs. They're going to come home. They're going to put fruit one day, not this day, someday. All right, so, but the Vlayim, the dual missing fig trees, the Tahar, this goes way back to Genesis, the Tahar of who can remember? She conceived and she babied him a son. Is there something missing from this? It doesn't say that he's the father of the child, you know, right? When you read in all those Genesis, right? And he knew his wife and she conceived, well, oh, you know, that's missing here, okay? So we don't know who the father, she's, she's missed up, right? It's not, it's not that, you know, he might be the father, but maybe he doesn't really know, okay? It's a sad story. That's right, he's gonna adopt those kids regardless of who they belong to. 
I mean, in the biology part. All right. We're moving right on. <laughs> Verse 4. Uh, good. Vayomer. Yahweh. I love. Kra. Shmo. Yisrael. So we can see all the parts of what that is. Ye. Zera. So what's the ye? He will. What's the zera? In this case, so. And who's sowing? God is going to sow. Zera is related to zroa. Do you know where your zroa is? What else? It's also on the Seder plate. It's the bone, right? The bone. This, uh huh. So the action is from your arm, right? He was very literal. Here's the action, right? Think of Johnny Appleseed. Okay, God is going to sow. He's going to plant what? Where? Why? Because od ma'at, in a little bit, pakadati. So pakad, we've learned a lot of meanings for it. And the most basic meaning is visit to give a, a point. So it can be a good pakadati, like you can get some something good from God because he's showing up to reward you, or it's a bad pakadati. He's going to come and um, chastise you. Okay. In this case, it's translated as avenge. And what is he avenging? Deme Yisrael. You can read it. What's Deme? Dom. The bloods of. Uh huh. Because of the house of Yehu. So what what happened with Yehu here? Lachim bet peraktesha, and we can read the story. So uh, Elisha takes off. Uh, things are not going well. So he's going to, uh, uh, for, uh, what do you call it? Ahab is a kid. He's a bad guy. I think uh, Jezebel's might be already dead. Is that right? No. No? So Yehu is the son of Jehoshaphat. He, he becomes, um, right. So uh, Elisha gives the prophecy of what's going to happen to, to the house. You know, everybody that's evil that comes down, they're always compared to Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. I mean, each one, the next one, terrible, terrible, terrible. Nobody ever repented in that in that group. No wonder they're so bad. Uh, somehow, Yehu comes out, and he becomes anointed the king. And uh, he's going to come bring the news. And they can see him from far off in that in that tower where that guy took that shot. And they say, oh, the riding is like the riding of Yehu. They can recognize him by the way he rides his horse. And so they assume that good news is coming, but they are very wrong. And he comes in, he kills everybody, isn't that right? He had help. Uh, and so I guess, uh, <laughs> so Jezebel figures out that it's, gonna, it's all over her. So she goes to her boudoir, and she's putting on makeup. She's fixing to dive, and she knows it. But she's going to look good when she hits the pavement, I guess. So um, after that... She didn't want anything there nothing left. To see. <laughs> there was nothing left. So Ahab is, is still alive. But eventually Yehu's going to kill everybody. So uh, so in chapter 10, uh, Yehu, Yehu is, is a king. And he says, you know, Ahab served Baal little, but we're going to serve him a lot. So it seems like he's going to go in a good direction. But we are going to read, uh, we're in Perek Yud. Pasuk shloshim So he, he, he winds up killing all these evil, you know, I mean, Ahab dies and all the prophets Baal die. But then we have this problem in verse 31, which Yehu lo shamar, he did not guard, he did not, he wasn't careful. La lechet, what is la lechet? To walk, okay, it's the infinitive of holech. Betorat Yahweh. Yeah, Elohe Yisrael. With all his heart. He didn't do it. He wasn't careful. He had the opportunity, but he didn't do it. Lo, sar, you know, sar, to turn from. Me'al chatot. Sins, uh huh. Chet. Chet is kind of like general sin, like the umbrella term for sin. Sins did he not turn from? Jeroboam, right? The main bad guy from the beginning. Asher hecheti. So this is also a form of chet. You see the root there, chetet aleph, which he sinned uh, with Israel. 
So this is why uh, God is talking about coming to avenge the blood of Israel. He killed all that. He spilled a lot of blood, but he didn't accomplish what he was supposed to accomplish, and that was to turn the hearts of the people back again. So here comes now Yisrael, and I, okay, the Hishvati. So what is the root of Hishvati? Shabbat. What does it mean? Cease. I'm going to cease what? The kingdom. It's a noun. The kingdom of the house of Israel. Okay. This is a story of the of the children. So say the story. All these things are happening by their names. So the first thing that happened is uh, because God is coming in to avenge the blood of Jezreel because of what Yehu did. Then we see that the the people are going to be planted. They're going to be planted in other places. Okay. Somebody's going to come in to um, to the northern kingdom and put the people out. And the people, that was a policy of um, the Assyrians when they came, was they took the people from those areas and they moved them to their own areas this way, and then they brought their people to settle back in the land. You remember the whole story of the lions, right? Here come the lions. We don't know what to do because we don't know how to serve this god. Send us some Levites so we can serve this god. Okay, because they thought that God was just over the land. Okay, verse 5. We're really moving rapidly. But, uh, yeah. the, the Hebrew, the modern Hebrew students can say, and it was, but the biblical students may not say that. What is it? It's the converse evav, right? And it will be, but yom ha in, in that day. When is that day? The, the day, day of the Lord. Okay. Shavarti, Shavar, huh? Break. Break, good. Keshet, who knows what a Keshet is? It's a bow. Keshet is that which is bow shaped. So it's an archery bow and also a rainbow. Okay, what is it here? Is he coming to break up the rainbow? I don't think so. He's coming to break the bow of Israel. What does that refer to? Strength. Their strength, their ability to fight. The Emek Israel. So Emek is a valley. Let's look at um, Mizmor Sadi Bet. Pasuk Shesh. Ma Galu Ma Asecha Yahweh Ma'od Amku Machshavateka. So Ma is how? What or how? Gadol Big. Ma Asecha comes from what? Ose. Right. So what is It's a noun. It's a noun, right? Your work. How great are your works, O Lord? Ma'od, ma'od, very, um, so we're, this is what we're looking at, amek. Amek is a valley, amok is deep. What is machshavotecha, what is, what's the root for machshavotecha? Choshev means, uh-huh, so what are machshavot? Thoughts, machshavotecha, your thoughts. All right, so he's in the valley of Yezreel, Jezreel. <laughs> Valley of Decision was over there by Yehoshaphat and Yehu. Verse one, uh, 6. Tahar Od, she conceived again, Bat, born to daughter, Vayomer Lo, to him. Who said to whom? Yahweh says to Hosea, Kara, Shema, Lo Ruchama. I said, but you already know what it is. But where does this come from, this idea of Ruchama? What, how do you translate Ruchama? not pitied okay so I don't know let's go to uh, let's go to Shemot Lama Gimel Shemot Lama Gimel Pasuk Cha Esre okay we're learning about what Rechem is Rechem in Yiddish they say Rachmunis or Rechem so you know this you already know you know this verse so who is he talking to here where is the guy who is he talking to Moses where is Moses? He's not in the mountain, he's not in the tent. He's someplace special. He's in the cleft of the rock. And what does God say? Ani, we know. Avir, what is this? No, it's not I will cross over. What binyan is it? Don't say hit pa'el. He feel. I will cause to pass, to pass by. Call to V from Tov. Oh my goodness, Apanecha. 
front of your face. The karate, the shem Yahweh, the fanecha. How amazing and crazy is this, right? So you're Moses. You've had all these interactions with God. You've been up on the mountain. You did all that fasting. You got the tablets and everything. And now you're hiding someplace in a rock. God himself is going to pass by and call his own name to you. You better be right or you're going to be a pile of ashes. That's all I can say. And so what else does he say? So this is your chen. Remember we were talking about chen, chana. I will have favor uh huh, with whoever I will have favor. I will favor whoever I will favor. And I will rachem. I will have compassion on whoever I will have compassion. Okay, good. Let's go also in Shemot Yud Gimel. Uh, Pasuk Shtayim. Li Hu. Okay, because Li is me and who is he? Kadesh Li. What is that? Sanctify to me, it's a command. Kol Bachor Heter Kol Rachem. This is your Rachem right here. What is pet Bachor? First. The firstborn. Heter, the Torah, to open. To cause to open. Rechem is in your King James translated as matrix. It means a womb. I don't know why they call it matrix. That's some King Jamesy word. Okay, listen. Both from the man and the animals. Who li? What's who li? They are mine. Who, he, who, 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 he? He is mine. Each one. Each one, he is mine. Okay? So, this is a special kind of mercy. We have a lot of words for mercy. His mercy is endures forever, right? But that mercy is a covenant love mercy. This Rechem mercy is a mercy that a mother has for a child. And if I tell the story every time, but I'm going to tell it again. I was teaching, uh, no, 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 GED, GED. I was teaching GED, and there, uh, there was a woman that came to that class, and she was just worried how she was going to get her son out of jail. And her son was in jail for trying to kill her. But her poor baby, he was in jail. She, she didn't know how she was going to get him out. That's the kind of mercy that, I mean, doesn't make any sense. But sometimes parents, you know, will do things for their children because they are their flesh and blood and kin. Okay, it's a special kind of mercy. Did we finish this verse? No. No, we did not. So we're in the middle of 16. I mean, 6. We're in the middle of 6, and we'll finish it next week because it's too much to finish, and I kept you late last time. So thank you very much, and shalom. Have a nice day. I hope you learned something.